ITBC student. Now, that is the youngest, baddest uploader who has stepped foot and touch buttons on this thing and has made total sense. And I tell you something, I've seen a lot of them come and go. A YTBC student has now graduated into the midst of the masters. What up, everybody who talks boxing, comments about boxing, and makes boxing videos? The topic of this video is really going to be about inactivity. Inactivity is something that we are seeing more and more in boxing today. I mean, fighters just don't fight as much as they used to. And, you know, some people might say that's the Mayweather blueprint, which to a certain extent, I agree. But on the same token, you know, that's not something that Mayweather was the first to do. There's other fighters who have done it before him. And I'm sure we're going to see many continue to do it since him, you know, and uh, and it's unfortunate. But it's something that we do see more and more out of the bigger names in boxing you know it when i was on the hangout we talked a lot about inactivity and fighters who are really guilty of this you know it's one of the one of the big things that is really hurting the sport right now i mean you got Fighters like David Lemieux, if I'm not mistaken, his last fight was when he fought Triple G, and that's been over a year. And he lost that fight. Why have we not seen David Lemieux come back? Look at um, Charles Martin. He hasn't been in the ring since he lost to Anthony Joshua, which was early to mid 2016 i don't remember the exact date but it was you know it was a while ago yeah danny garcia who fought way at the beginning of the year and then fights one more time way at the end and then of course my one of my favorite fighters keith thurman as much respect and as much of a fan I am, you know, as much respect I have for him and as much of a fan I am of his, he's way too inactive. He fought Luis Colazo back in July of 2015. His next fight was, wasn't until, um, what was it? I think July, July or August of 2016. Somewhere in there. There's no excuse for the inactivity. And, you know, I think that's one of the things that, whether you agree with his resume or not, Triple G is very active. I think that's one of the reasons why fans like him is because not only how he disposes of his opponents... And I do think his opponents are a little bit better than what some people want to give him credit for. I mean, I'm not going to lie. They aren't the absolute best. But I do think that a lot of people tend to downplay his opposition as well. It's somewhere in the middle. You got, you got a lot of people from one extreme to the other. You got people acting like he has the worst resume in boxing. And then you got people acting like he has the best resume in boxing. When really, he's somewhere... In the middle of that, in reality. But, not to get off topic, but let me get back to what I was saying. One of the reasons why the Triple G fans like him so much is because of how active he actually is. 
you don't have you normally don't have to wait six months till his, six seven eight nine ten months till his next fight you usually got another fight to look forward to in the next three months Look at Luis Ortiz. Now, he had a little bit of a layoff, but he, you know, and not saying that fighters can't take layoffs, by the way. It's just, you know, some fighters are taking consecutive layoffs. <laughs> you know, they're only fighting one time a year. But then you got Luis Ortiz, who, you know, he was, he took a little bit of a layoff for about six, seven, eight months. But then he fought Malik Scott last um last month and now he's going to be fighting against this month so you know this is the thing you know a lot of the behaviors that these fighters take on would actually be more acceptable if they were more active such as taking light touches when you're taking a light touch and then you don't fight until the following year and that's also a light touch. And then you don't fight till the following year after that. And that's also a light touch. It's kind of inexcusable. But when you're fighting three, four times a year, and one or two out of those, you know, well, I would say one out of three and two out of four would be okay, light touches, then you have a leg to stand on. And how you structure those also has something to do with it. You know, there's nothing wrong with having showcase fights. fights. But when you have a showcase fight, and it's been over a year since the last time you fought, for example, Billy Joe Saunders, and then you look poor in that showcase fight, then this behavior is really just inexcusable. And it really is up to us, the fans, to call them out on this. Because Jeff Cotto, recently, he said something that is very true. We are the fighters' employers. Because if we're not watching these fights, and we're not buying the tickets, and we're not buying the pay-per-views... The promoter is not going to make any money. Really, they have to bend to our whim. But when we're over here being um, starstruck. And we're willing to support the fighter, even if they're giving us garbage. Then, of course, that's what they're going to do because they can get away with it. If you have a child that you tell them you're not going to allow them to watch TV unless they get good grades and they show up with D all D's on their report card, you still let them watch TV, they've learned no lesson. Same thing, if they're giving us D performances, but where they're praising them like they're A fighters, then they're going to continue to do so. So, inactivity is one of the things in the sport that can definitely be changed. And if it were to change, would actually benefit the sport a great deal. It's actually quite a simple solution to a big problem. Every fight doesn't have to be a big name fight. Every fight doesn't have to be a... 10 million, 15 million, 20 million dollar fight. Have some fights that built up to that big payday fight. Have a showcase, have a meaningful fight, and then maybe go ahead and challenge for a title. Or if you are the title holder, have a showcase. Have a mandatory defense and then a unification. Have these buildups. There's nothing wrong with building up a fight. But that buildup doesn't need to be years in the, in, in the works. It just doesn't make any sense. These guys are wasting their prime with inactivity. 
So like I said, I think this is something that can really, really be fixed quite easily. Not only that, but, you know, if you really think about it, the more you fight, the more money you make. I mean, Danny Garcia fought Robert Guerrero, Guerrero in January and fought Vargas last last month. You can't tell me that if he would have fought somewhere mid-year and let's say it would have been Andre Berto. That would have been a fight that he could have made a little bit more money than the Guerrero fight and the... Um, and the uh, Vargas fight. You fight more, you make more money. So even from a business aspect, it just doesn't make any sense. So this is, like I said, a simple solution to a big problem we have in the sport. Even some of my favorite fighters are guilty of it. And that's one thing that I have to give to Ward, you know, even though he was he he was inactive for quite some time this year, he was pretty active. And if he keeps up that activity, then I can't be mad at him. Even if he is taking a soft touch here and there. Now, don't get me wrong. You don't fight five times in a year and all five be soft touches either. Because now you're just milking. I don't like that. But in a sense, Andre Ward is on the right path. He just needs to stop playing around and do that rematch. Stop giving these diplomatic answers. Well, my team this and all this other stuff. Like, you know, I, I don't care about any of that. Just make the fight. Anyways, these are my thoughts on the inactivity in the sport of boxing. To all my subscribers, anybody watching my videos, or if you just so happen to stomp on this video, hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace. Y'all watching YouTube videos, man? Gee, thanks. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I am so authentic. I'm so authentic. They try to figure me out, but this is not a gimmick. Hi, hip hop. Don't act like you don't know me. What? We got the same mama. Don't you try to disown me? I'm just a mixed breed. Call me a day walker. Cause I walk in the sun, but at night I'm a stalker. If you're looking for blood, come run in my lane. The fame never runs dry. There's plenty of it, man. I speak an ancient language. They don't understand me. It's called the truth. I break it down and try to reprimand me.